Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter number four. We are here. We are doing it. We just finished The Prisoner of Azkaban last week. If you guys missed that, go check it out. Amazing movie. Our favorite movie out of the series so far. Honestly, I was talking to her about it when we finished. Like, that Harry Potter movie, not only was it our favorite out of the series, but for me personally, probably one of my favorite movies i ever seen. Probably top 10 if not top, you know, 15 or 20. It was a really fucking good movie. And I enjoyed it a lot. I know she enjoyed it a lot. We had a we had a lot of plot twists in there. The whole thing was Sirius Black. Loved his character. And Sirius Black, the dude who played him is actually... Have you seen the Batman movies? No. There's a dude in it named um, Gordon. And he was the same actor who played in Batman. But he looks like completely freaking different in it. Like I didn't recognize him at all. And I just finished watching that. But... Harry Potter, The Goblet of Fire. A lot of you guys have told me this is a really good one too. And after the third one, it starts to get a lot darker. So we're both super excited for this, man. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie before we do what we do. I said, if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for us. Full reaction is up on Patreon as well as early access to other stuff. If you guys want to check that out, patreon.com forward slash it's a primate. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. Snake again? Bro, this dude got some giant balls going in there at night by himself knowing somebody's in there. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, that's the rat. Is it? Yes. Oh, that is that only <gasps> bitch. Is he talking to Voldemort? Is that Voldemort? Baltimore can speak that snake tongue. Oh, the snake's telling him that somebody's there. Nakini tells me the old buckle caretaker is standing just outside the door. Step aside, Wormtail, so I can give our guest a proper greeting. Our father Kadabra! That is Voldemort for sure. Oh, are we gonna get to see Voldemort? This movie? Finally? Did you see how ugly he was though? They didn't his show him hand. his hand though, yeah. Dude looks all like he's probably shriveled up. The strapping young lad must be Cedric, am I right? <laughs> That's Edward! Yeah. That isn't just any man kill boot, mate. It's a port key. Time to go! It's a port key. What's a port key? Ready! Way to teleport. One! Imagine they left without him. He didn't put his hand on it. Well, kids, it's like a festival. Quidditch World Cup. Oh, Quidditch World Cup. Wonder if Harry's competing. He got that fireball last movie. That bitch fast as fuck. Dang. Oh my god. Look how deep that stadium is. What? Don't boost, Draco. There's no need with these people. I hate Malfoy. Do enjoy yourself, won't you? While you can. I hope that dude gets killed by the end of this series, honestly. Not Malfoy, his dad. You know, Malfoy's just a little kid still. Who's that? Yeah. That this is the best seeker in the world. Like something's so that's gonna happen. Always. We've gotta get out of here. No. Oh shit, something's happening, huh? Who is fucking the place up like that? Oh, dude is getting trampled, man. Did he get knocked? He is knocked. Damn, oh boy got pink. Oh, they fucked that place up. More, more. That's the dude from the start, huh? That was talking to Voldemort. Oh. What is that? Stupid boy! Oh. Stop! You've been discovered at the scene of the crime. Crime? Marty. They're just kids. What crime? It's the dark mark, Harry. It's his mark. Voldemort. 
Those people tonight in the masks. They're his two, aren't they? His followers. This dude really tried to say it was them that did all that shit. Things are stepping up. I love their newspapers, how they always have it moving yeah. pictures. I'd read the newspaper if that's how ours looks. <laughs> Get anything from the trolley, dears? Packet of droobles and a licorice wand. Oh. On second thought, just the droobles. Just the droobles. Ron don't like Harry buying him stuff, huh? You know Sirius will want to hear about this. What you saw at the World Cup and the Dream. Movie, I hope he is, dude. I love Sirius. He's probably my, one of my favorite characters in this. Top three for sure. I hope, he, I hope he's in this one again. Did you like him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he comes back. Yeah, him and the dark arts teacher, um, mm -hmm. Lupin. Yeah. Here in the runway! Hagrid! I wonder if Buckbeak's gonna come back too. <laughs> Hogwarts has been chosen to host a legendary event, the Triwizard Tournament. Triwizard Tournament brings together three schools for a series of magical contests. From each school, a single student is selected to compete. Now, let me be clear. If chosen, you stand alone. And trust me when I say these contests are not for the faint-hearted. Dang, she is fucking huge. She half giant too? What the fuck? Her and Hagrid need to get together. <laughs> I'm it's him. Victor Crumb. Dude, he's obsessed with. That's ominous in a weird cut. They drink only single malt whiskey. I'm dead. You idiot! <laughs> Hagrid's like, finally, someone my size. What son he's drinking, do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. For their own safety, no student under the age of 17 to be allowed to put forth their name for the Triwizard Tournament. This decision That's is rubbish. Anyone wishing to submit themselves to the tournament need only write their name upon a piece of parchment and throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. So Harry's not older than 17, is he? Or 17 or older? I'm your new defense against the dark arts teacher. I am here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye. The end. Which of you can tell me? How many unforgivable curses there are? Three, sir. And they are so named? Because they are unforgivable. For you, Spenny, one of them will. will earn you a one-way ticket to Azkaban, correct? My dad did tell me about one. Hmm. The Imperious Curse. Oh, yeah. Your father would know all about that. New dark arts teacher every movie. Bojo. Oh, you. <laughs> Imperio! <laughs> Nobody! Completely harmless! Yeah, right. Get this shit off me. Scores of witches and wizards have claimed that they only did you know who's bidding under the influence of the imperious curse. The Cruciatus curse. Correct! Correct! Come, come! The torture curse. Crucio! Was it hurting him too, or was he just feeling bad for the animal, for the thing? Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Granger. It kills him. Damn. The killing curse. Only one person is known to have survived it. Harry. And he's sitting in this room. That's how Voldemort tried to kill him with that curse. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So one can control you to do you, to do anything. The other makes you feel hella pain. 
and the last one straight up kills you. What the fuck, man? This teacher kind of crazy. He's intense as fuck. You said, you said, um, then. Oh, right, you want Damn. They're old as shit. The motherfuckers look like Dumbledore now. <laughs> Of course he was gonna get it. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Cedric. He's gonna spit out Harry's name. Weird shit only happens when it involves Harry. Harry Potter! It looks Someone pissed. Someone did that to him. I feel like it was the fire did it. So Hogwarts has two champions? He didn't put his paper in. He didn't. That's what I'm saying. I think the fire chose him. I don't know. I feel like somebody did it on purpose. Probably. I don't know. Who could do that, though? The rules are absolute. The Goblet of Fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Mr. Potter has no choice. He is, as of tonight... A try wizard champion. I was thinking maybe the dark arts teacher, but he seemed like he didn't didn't know what was happening either. Really. Might have let your best friend know though. Let you know what? You know bloody well what. I didn't ask for this to happen, Ron. Okay. You're being stupid. Yeah, that's me. Ron Weasley, Harry Potter's stupid friend. I think he's jealous because he was saying he wants eternal he was saying he wants eternal glory. Ron was, you know, so he's probably jealous that Harry's getting a chance at this young of an age. These people really think he did it, man. Why the fuck would he put his name in there? This dude's already pretty much famous, like why would he want more, you know, more glory? What the heck? That's him? I don't have much time, Harry, so let me get straight to it. Did you or did you not put your name into the Goblet of Fire? No. Shh. What are you saying? I'm saying the devils are inside the wall. Sigor Karkaroff. He was a Death Eater. And no one, no one stops being a Death Eater. Then there's Barty Crouch. Heart of Stone sent his own son to Azkaban. People die in this tournament. I'm not ready for this, Sirius. You don't have a choice. I don't know. I think yeah. My first thought was the dark arts teacher. Dude is crazy. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. Ron, come on, man. Dragons. That's the first task. You're joking. Come on, Harry. These are seriously misunderstood creatures. That's the first task is dragons. I teach you to curse someone when their back is turned. They're stinking, cowardly, scummy, backshooting. What, what are you doing? Teach it. I like him. I know, I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. Dude's crazy, but I guess it's a good crazy? Shit, I don't know, man. Fuck. Wouldn't even bother telling you what's in there. You a fair flyer, but I. Better than fair, the way I heard it. But I'm not allowed a broom. You're allowed a wand. Turn your wand into a broom? Harry's a hella powerful wizard. Clearly, we know that from last movie, so. This dude gonna pull some shit out of his ass, I'm sure. The Hungarian horn tail. That bitch looks bad. This dude Harry got the worst one. It looks like that. That thing got all those spikes on it. Imagine one of them tries to use the curse that kills it. <laughs> Ends up in fucking Azkaban. Is it him? Maybe that's doing the shit. I don't know why I thought I was seeing, but then I was like, oh. Akio Fireball. <laughs> Did he just try and cast a spell and it didn't even work? Oh, he called his broom. He, that, I thought so for a second because he said Firebolt. Yes, sir. 
Look, Ron, you clapping. I see you. I'm happy for him. Oh, he's gonna lead him through there. He's gonna get stuck, huh? Oh, I thought he was gonna get stuck. Damn. Okay. Made the dragon crash, basically. Look at all these people cheering him now. Motherfuckers were making fun of him before. On Christmas Eve night, we and our guests gather in the Great Hall for a night of well-mannered frivolity. It's they're having like a prom. It's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because believe it or not, someone's asked me. Who asked yeah, her? So. Was it that dude? Maybe Crumb? Tonight when we get back to the common room, we'll both have partners. Agreed? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy, pull this sleeves up. I'm not even <laughs> BANK! <laughs> Is she really by herself? She no, she's with Crumb. She's... Yeah, she does. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was him. That's why. She, that's probably why he looked at her when he was running. That dude would be so easy to crowd surf because he's tiny. You could probably have one person do it. <laughs> Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does, and not as a last resort. Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. Where have you been? Never mind, off to bed, both of you. She's like their mom. <laughs> yes, the time is close now. Harry, at last! Maybe these dreams are like... What's gonna happen? Either that or they're like, real. Like he's actually there. Like, maybe not in person, but in spirit, in Voldemort can sense him or something. I don't know. You think, um... You think Crumb is using her? Or you think he actually likes her? Hermione? I feel like he's... Using her. Yeah, I think so, too. He said he, she, he doesn't really talk, he just watches her. I don't know, though. Why don't you help Potter put his books back? He's gonna have some type of herb or something that can breathe underwater, huh? Now, if there's a Tibetan turnip that will allow me to breathe underwater for an hour, then great. But otherwise... I don't know about a turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. Told you. See, everybody's offering a little bit of help. Maybe unintentionally, but still. Even breathing underwater for an hour if you could, that'd be so creepy being underwater for that long. Like, I don't think I could ever go scuba diving or some shit like that. So if the other people didn't do the, take that herb too, how can, they can't breathe underwater. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, shit. That's a big ass, oh. Who is that? Oh, he saved her. Damn, that would be so dope to be part shark like that. You think those students come up and they're like, what the fuck happened? I said yo. Not only Mr. Weasley, but the others as well. We've agreed to award him second place. Yes! Hey. For outstanding moral fiber. Last boy who went into the Department of Mysteries never came out. That dude's probably, he's gotta be bad, man. That, they, they just made that scene so weird. Like, they would not put that in there if they weren't trying to tell us on. He dead? Mr. Crouch? Did the dark arts teacher kill him? Give me the wretched name, Bertie Crouch! <gasps> Junior. Oh. 
that's his son. That's why they said before he put his own son in Azkaban. Wow. So his dad was the one that was found dead, right? Well, I'm assuming he's dead. That was just found dead in the forest. That was talking to Harry. Mm -hmm. So did his son escape somehow? Mm, no. That was the tattoo on the dude. Is that Crouch's son? Did he change his look somehow? No. Or maybe that's, um, they said that's the mark of the servants of Voldemort or Mark of Voldemort or whatever. So maybe that dude's just another servant of Voldemort. Because that's not the same dude from his dream, right? It looks different. Oh, oh did he take her God. out? He was at that tournament too when the shit happened at the very start of the movie. You see his Look eyes? His eyes. He's bewitched, Cedric. Get off me. He's bewitched. Oh, he's bewitched. It's that spell from the start. One of the three unforgivable ones, huh? That controls him. Mm-hmm. Who's going to get it? Imagine they both touch it at the exact same time. Oh, save him, Harry. You're going to save him. Now you better let me grab this trophy, bitch. Together. One, two, three. I knew it! You grabbed it at the same time. Fuck, who's gonna win then? Where are they at now? Cedric, we have to get back to the cup. Now! What are you talking about? That's that bitch. Oh, no. what is get back to the cup! Ugh. Voldemort, you ugly bitch! <laughs> he killed him. He fucking killed him. Oh, you see, he looked like a little alien. He looked like a little alien. He looked like a little fetus. Oh my god, he's back. I got chills. Look at you, you bald bitch. Oh, you're ugly. Fuck. So somebody made that trophy a port key. <gasps> that's him. Oh my Who? god, that's his dad. Lucius. Isn't it Mal Mal Yeah, he called him Lucius. In his sight. Voldemort must be dude it's powerful as shit, huh? Homeboys not even trying, you see him? My boy Vold Voldemort got the fingertip on him. Yeah. Fuck him up, Harry. It's gonna be his mom and dad. Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. Harry, take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. Let go. My heart, man. God, man. Please don't tell me people are gonna think he killed him. Everybody's celebrating while he's holding a dead body. He's back. Voldemort's back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. Not that. It's all right, Harry. It's all right. He's home. You both are. Is he gonna turn him into something? Oh, he's the one who stole the shit from Snape. Think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor? Oh. Fuck. He, he is it. bad. It was this bitch the whole time. He's in the box. That's why he said you don't want to see what's in the box. You got him trapped in that tiny ass thing? You all right, Alistair? I'm sorry, Alistair. That's moody, but then who's... That's why he kept drinking it. It's, it's that potion that they use before that turns you into someone else. Yeah. So who is that? Crouch's son? <laughs> Fuck, man. Dude, what the fuck? So technically I was right. He was bad. It's just not him himself that was bad, I guess, huh? Harry, you don't tell him, like, 
Malfoy's dad is a bitch and he's serving Voldemort or what? I promise he'll write this summer. Both of you. Well, I won't. You know I won't. Harry will, won't you? Yeah, every week. <laughs> Shit. All right, that was Harry Potter number four. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Voldemort is actually like 100% back. We've seen like bits and pieces. You tired? <laughs> We've seen like bits and pieces of him throughout the movies, you know, and you know, kind of in the first one, we've seen him connected to the other dude. The second one, it's like he, he he's never been fully there, but he is, he's back. The motherfucker is fully back now, and I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, who who can stop him? Like, he's supposed to be one of the most powerful wizards out there. Who who can stop him? You know what I mean? Like, I honestly don't even think Dumbledore would be able to stop him. I'm not sure, but the way they talk about Voldemort, they talk about him like nobody can stop him. You know, and I just I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen in these next movies. Um. They're all going back home now, obviously, at the end of these movies, it seems like it's the end of the school year every time they all return home, but how the fuck are they going to let Harry go back home now? You know, like, so I don't know if it was really a spoiler or not. I think they said it was explained in the books, but not in the movies. It was like, um, if Harry is with a family, somebody who's actually blood, Voldemort can't get to him, which is why- That's why they sent him to that family. To, to his aunt and uncle, you know, know, because his aunt is his actual blood, you know, that was his mom's yeah. sister, but- now that Voldemort's back, he showed that he can hurt Harry now. And before yeah. he couldn't hurt him, but yeah. now that he has his blood in him, is everything like Nolan Void or was it just that? I don't know, man. But Mal Malfoy's dad. We we we. Uh, what was it? The second movie, Chamber of Secrets, where we kind of got that little bit that he was kind of with Voldemort a little bit. You know, we had our suspicions, but it's like confirmed, dude. This dude is literally a servant of Voldemort like mm -hmm. i feel like that's important information i don't know if they kind of skip it if they said it in the why, book i don't know why he didn't I feel, so nobody knows yet that's what i'm thinking like i don't know if they said it in the book and they left it out of the movie or if they just, if harry just didn't tell anybody like the set like after i after i'm like okay cedric died Voldemort's back the next thing i'm saying that bitch's dad is serving him he's working with him you know what i mean like mm -hmm. what the fuck so it's right now it's Voldemort, peter um, Malfoy's dad, Lucius, and then who else was there? Was there a fourth person there? The, uh, what's his name? Crouch's son, but he's going back to Azkaban. Like, fuck, dude. This dude is coming back, and he's got people that are still supporting him and serving him, man. Like, I don't know. If, if we start out, like, the next movie, and people still don't know that, uh, if, if Lucius is still walking around Hogwarts, like, ain't nothing happening, like, it ain't no thing, I'm gonna be kind of pissed off, because I feel like... That should be some shit that was addressed automatically, but what did you think about the movie? Did you like this one? I liked it. It was sad, kind of, though. Yeah. It, it sucks that he died, you know? Like, fuck, man. Like, the, the, the way they were talking about the spells, I figured somebody was going to die, you know? They kind of... The, well, the curses, I guess, you know? So, I'm, I'm curious, too. Was, was Moody never there at all? Well, he had to have been there because he was trapped in that chest. Mm -hmm. So at what point was he switched with the other dude, with Crouch's son? That's what I was thinking too. I have no idea. But he's been thinking that, drinking that thing since he Since like there. the start? Yes. So did he like capture Moody before Moody got there, put him in the chest? Last and then he just acted like the chest was part of all of his stuff? Because mm -hmm. I guess that makes sense. And like earlier in the movie when Snape said that they made a... a uh, whatever potion. I thought he said an apology potion. I was like, what the fuck? But it's whatever the name of that potion is. I, I don't, I can't, I, I don't remember what it is exactly, but it makes sense now. It makes sense why he was drinking that. I, I at first I thought it was just fucking, um, I thought it was just alcohol because every time he drink, he'd be like, you know, like, like it's kind of strong, but I guess it's that. That's fucking crazy, man. Mm -hmm. I guess it didn't make sense too because I was like, damn, Harry's actually kind of winning this shit and he's the youngest to ever win it, but it's also Harry, so it's kind of like half and half, you know? It's kind of like, eh, eh, you know? I don't know, dude. The movie was good. I I, I will say, I do. Prisoner of Az Azkaban is still my favorite. Is that like still your favorite? That one too. It's still my favorite, still her favorite. But this one was good, man. It's definitely getting darker, you know, with showing deaths and showing more uh, crazy stuff like. Voldemort literally sitting there trying to kill Harry in front of three other adults and they're just they're with it you know like they, they don't even care especially like Malfoy's dad like I mean I know he doesn't like Harry but fuck 
you know, like, the dude's still a kid, he's 14 years old, you know, like, how the fuck are you about to do that shit, I don't know, but, regardless, guys, the movie was good, I fucked with it, we both liked it, we both enjoyed it, full reaction is up on Patreon, if you guys want to go check that out, link in the description down below, you guys can check out our full reaction to it alongside the full movie, because I'm doing it a new way now, so if you guys want to see that, link in the description down below, early access to other stuff, all good content over there, but if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, because we do do daily reaction videos, man. voice crack, <laughs> reaction videos, man, we hope you all have a wonderful day, I'll see you in the next one.